Speaking of potential New Year's resolutions, how about saving a little money in the new year? I think it would make the new year very, very bright. Uh -huh. Who doesn't love more money? Mm -hmm. Our Morgan Koziar, she is live this morning for us in Tyrone with a financial advisor who might have some tips on how to do just this. Good morning, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Good morning, Maggie and Casey. That's right. Well, the new year comes a new slate, kind of, you know, eating better, losing weight, maybe even saving some money, being yeah. smarter with our money in the new year. We are here in Tyrone at Thrivent Financial with Gary. Gary, you've got some tips on budgeting and kind of how to be more aware of, you know, the way we're spending our money. Yeah, so we thought, we've talked about this all morning, so um, I asked Morgan what her favorite was, and she liked that whole first segment. So budgeting tips for the new year. We'll do them again. Create and use a budget. So create and use a budget, uh, either handwritten or by an app. And then have an emergency fund. <clears throat> we recommend three to six months worth of income for your emergency fund, but only use it in the case of an emergency. Mm -hmm. Don't spend it on a movie or anything right. like that. Um, and then set realistic goals, um, not ones that are not achievable. So set achievable financial goals, which is always a good thing to do. Uh, you may not be able to do them all, but make something that is reachable. Otherwise, you get bored and you forget about it. So, so those were kind of our three first run, which I think are all valuable. I love that you said that. Mm -hmm. I never really even thought about the apps for budgeting because you said you mm -hmm. can do it on paper or like the app Electronic using that because, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. kids my age or people my age, they're, yeah. it's easier to kind of use something at – And they are good. Yeah. They're, they're really good. Yeah. But you also mm – -hmm. there's another strategy – for saving, kind of hiding away some money from yourself. Yep. And, An and, old strategy. And actually, when I was talking to Morgan yesterday, she brought this up and reminded me about it, which it is a good one. This is the old paper envelope system. So I pulled some of these out of one of the workshops. And folks do this in different ways. But what they do, they basically create an envelope for each day of the week, Monday through Sunday. And um, they stick the money in that they want to spend every day. And then at the end of the day, if they have no money left, they're done. In other words, don't take from anywhere else. Mm -hmm. But if they have any extra money, they stick it in the one marked extra. And the paper system may seem old and antiquated, but the idea of it is to force you to do something physically. Yeah. You know? So a lot of people still swear by that, mm -hmm. you know, doing it that way, because it, it makes them feel and touch something yeah. each day, you know, and they feel good when there's something extra. And then you can make your own rule up on what to do with the extra, you know, go blow it on a, a fun night or something like that. But it's a it's a great way to do it. So thank you, Morgan, for yeah. reminding me of the old paper system. So there it is. And it's really expensive, as you can see. You can make those. You can make those. Envelopes. Pretty easy. Well, I love that when you so, find money and it's like, you know, yeah. kind of like, why? I yeah. didn't realize I had this. That's right. Uh, great mm -hmm. tips. Thank you, Gary. Uh, oh, for thank you. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, great, great ways on how to save some money in the new year. Who can't use some of that, right, guys? Yeah, great I love tips. that idea. Very helpful. Yes, and now all we, it takes is an envelope, maybe you know, five cents. Yeah. Now we just have to execute. Yes, I Gary. Know. That's the hard part. But thank you much for that. I think